Tedesco has gone for Sydney. So here we go. Big game here at the SCG. Benny Gale got the first tap. Dale Lewis is clean ball. But he recovers. He shrugs one, two tackles. Gets out of it well in the end. Pokes it across to the outer side and a chance for Rocker. A long kick up towards Lockhart. Turner is the spoiler from behind. Pushed towards the boundary line. Garlic goes over the line with the football. We'll have a throw in. Crowd continuing to pour in here at the SCG. And this is a grand sight. A fine and cool afternoon. And we've reached our expected top of 17 degrees. Swans players starting on the bench. At the moment, it's in their attacking zone. No one able to get it out cleanly. Doing the ruck work for the Tigers on that occasion was Paul Bullis. So a bounce just inside 50. Lockett and Turner have dropped right back into the square. Mooney leans. Kick it was going past, couldn't take it. Bullis gets caught. Ball spills free. Close to the boundary line is kick it. He goes over with the football and another throw in. 25 metres around from the Sydney scoring zone. Lockett's left knee is strapped, not solidly, but it is strapped. Gale gets a short kick, pushes it towards the defensive 50 metre line, and another throw in. And a real buzz of excitement going around this ground. There's uh, the left knee, the left bandage knee of Tony Lockett. He's okay. Goes down towards uh, the 50, or inside 50 once again, but Bullis is there, and he takes the defensive mark. So the big young Tiger, oh, dangerous, but he's going to be okay. Going short, putting a little bit of pressure on Mark Neal, but he was equal to the task. Yeah, it's a courageous thing, thing to do there, Sandy. So come right across in front of goal, only chip at 20 metres. Got to be spot on. Neal from half back. Goes in towards the centre. A big pack of punters. And a rocker is the cry and the fly. Gee, confident boosting start for him, Roscoe. Oh, it's good stuff to see that from a young fella. His kick uh, a little awkward, going out towards centre wing. Sydney through Kapler, however, will maintain possession. He stabs it up towards half forward. Between all Sydney at the moment, Paul Roos regaining some excellent touch, gives it back to Kapler from 55 metres. Kapler goes with a long kick. What a kick in towards goal. And off hands it comes, going over the line in the right forward pocket. He had the opportunity there, Sandy, to kick to Lockett, who'd made a pretty good lead and was in front of Turner, but he obviously backed himself from there. Boundary throw in. Back towards the boundary line. O'Loughlin dragged off it. Tape goes down. And a whistle holding the balls, the call. Wow. Well, that's red hot. And now, with that decision having been made, they've got to do it for the remainder of the game. The umpires will keep the consistency, otherwise players get confused. Derek kick it. Only about 20 minutes out. Rocker, a great start. Now kick it. Put it on the scoreboard. mark on half back up against Daffy drifts it in towards the middle they've got the running players here they'll whip it through the middle finishes with Brunton Brunton goes up towards full forward Ruse can he recover no he can't and it's taken over the line by Scott Turner but one behind yes and again Tony Lockett looks up Phil Sandy just to say well I'm leading why not drop it in short that's what I'm there for seven points the margin Sydney have done all the attacking so far. Here's Jack Daniels. Calls for it in the middle. He elected to go shorter. It passes Knights. Wayne Campbell may get an opportunity. He's been an excellent touch. Gets it across to Bullis. But the umpire's whistle had sounded. It's going to come back. And Campbell was held. No, it's going to go to... Uh, back to... Bu oh, I thought they were giving it to Bullis because he was tackled by Kelly. Confused me. So Campbell to take it. Up towards Gale. Said the umpire, Benny Gale, on left half forward. First time 
but the Tigers can go deep into their attacking zone. Richardson was the target. Couldn't take it, however. Pressure now on the Sydney defence, trying to run it out is Duckley. Gets the hand pass away. They're out of trouble through Brunton. Sydney now moving up towards centre wing. Over the top of Prescott it goes. O'Loughlin can go over the top to his captain. Prescott's got him. Kelly gets a kick down towards the half forward line. Lockett comes out to apply the tackle on Bullis. And the ball spills over the line. We've got another throw in. Is a fantastic trap by Michael O'Loughlin to hold that ball and the kick coming from Gray at low trajectory and he just trapped it beautifully with left hand. Good skills. Bullis and Rocker go at it now. Rocker hooks it down behind. This is Gale. Nicely done. Whitney in space running up towards half back and the bright sunshine is second bounce and a third. He's up to the wing now. Stuart Whitney kicks inside the 50. Wide of Richardson. Daffy an opportunity behind inside the 50. 45 metres out. Pulls it back towards the kickoff line. Nice. 15 metres out directly in front. That's good team play. Whitney had the opportunity when he's bouncing down the outer side to kick to Chris Bond in midfield, but he just ignored him and went long. Good grab. 11 goals on the season for this young man. Number 12. Yes, and fast approaching uh, 100 games to Chris Nation. Such an important play. Here's the run from Wigney, as I said. Could have chipped short to Bond over the head of Richardson. And Daffy just mops up, gets around Ron Fuxy's opponent. Good mark by Nation. Hoping for a milestone in a few weeks' time is Chris Nash. Seven weeks, all going well. In the meantime, we go back in the centre once again. Tigers on the board. Maxfield tries to tap it forward, but only as far as McRae, who picks it up and pumps it high. Inside 50 goes Sydney once again. There's a good mark taken by Bullis. Paul Bullis on half-back. Over the top of a rocker who was on the mark. Gale got one hand to it, so too did Broderick and Bays. Gale gets another one on to Stewie Maxfield. Maxfield now, inside 50 for the Tigers. Up towards Richardson, but it's belted clear. Back towards Gray. He's claimed. Ball spills away. Campbell couldn't take it at the first attempt. Goes in to do some good shepherding work for Knights. Still going. Bays hot on his hammer. Knights the left footer. Pulling it beautifully in towards the centre of Richardson. Not paid. No mark. Lewis gets the handball over the top. And he'll receive it once again. Richardson slow to get up. Keep an eye on him, Roscoe. Plenty of pressure on here as Sydney's out of trouble. But Richardson most certainly isn't. Here goes Kepler. A worm burner towards Lockett. Couldn't take it. Bullis and a free kick. A free kick to Turner. And Richardson, Roscoe, still in trouble? Yes, he's just uh, on his feet. He's all right now. Campbell around the outer side. Little chip pass. Bond in space. Down towards half forward. Well done by Neil. Hard at that one. There's Richardson. Seems to be okay. Important customer. He'll be in this contest. Two off hands behind. Gale leads back in the race. Does it sit for him? Up his shin, I think he's got the goal. Got a kick only as far as the half forward line picked up by Bays. Now Sydney go down towards Ruse. Shift in the end too, yeah. Sandy. And has got a free kick 40 metres out. The importance too of using Mark Bays coming through the centre to kick long, looking for Ruse, who possibly was interfered with before the ball was in five metres. But then it was Garlic who was tackled without the footy and then tripped. So Simon Garlic has the opportunity of uh, regaining the lead for Sydney. Derek Kickett getting their only goal to date. At the moment, Naish and Brendan Gale have them for the Tigers. Garlic in a somewhat stammering approach. 40 metres out, splits them. So goal for goal here at the SCB at the moment. Yes, I mentioned before the importance of going long on this shorter ground, coming direct through the centre and using your long kicks like Kepler and Bays on their left foots, going long toward Lockett or Ruse. Very effective on that occasion. Arenda and Gallic. Dale, who got the last goal for the Tigers. 
What a terrific day here in Sydney. Glorious conditions. The Swans lead it now by a point. Rocky goes up and is beaten. Gale thumped it down. This is Kapler. Boots it out very wide. It's a foot race towards the outer side wing. Bullis leads. Going across is Gale to Shepard. Well done. It happened a long way off the ball. In fact, too far, says the umpire. Yes, well, he's warmer. indicating the wrong way. What's he doing? It's Gale's oh. It's giving it to Gale. Well, there was a forearm to the back of the head, but it was touch and go as to the distance from the ball. Still, it's on the outer side. Kellaway was up. Behind it's not cleverly down to Nash by Knights. Nash goes for home, deserving of a goal he's missed. Terrific football there. Some controversy on the outer side wing. Yes, I'm still confused. Well, he paid it for the raised forearm, I think, behind the head, but... Doreen comes in short. Lewis has got it. In the shadows of the stand. Maxfield on the mark. The short one comes Ooh. across field. Not particularly good intended for McRae. Knight stood up in the tackle. Out wide it comes to Daffy, who's getting some goals this season. And another one. His first... And the Tigers again to open up a six-point lead. Let's have a look at this again, Roscoe. Yeah, you're right there, Dennis. Jason Mooney, should I never have questioned you before? Well, the ball was a fair way away. Yeah, that's what I'm saying here. Yeah. yeah. Back in the middle. Gale, Benny Gale, beaten for it. Knights a chance going the wrong way. Has assistance in the form of Mark Miranda. Pokes it out wide to Bond. Been a very good player for them. Best and fairest winner. Up towards the 50. Out comes oh. Richardson. Well, it's only a matter of time on this ground. Yes. And look at this. Look only at this. a matter of time. Yes, and we saw it yesterday. Yes. Richardson's worrying about his left knee here. These very tight boundaries. And we saw yesterday Brett Hetty getting tackled just outside the boundary line in Canberra. It landed on concrete, damaged his shoulder. Now, we've got to say the injury, not the fault of the fence necessarily no, there, no. but he was conscious, I think, of not going any further and tried to prop as he came down. Well, Russell Morris will keep an eye on it. In the meantime, Campbell pumps uh, Richmond into the forward zone, but only as far as Andrew Dunkley. This could be a major, major blow for Richmond, and who knows even their finals aspirations. I know it's very early days as yet. McRae floats it in towards Bayes, who takes a one-hander. Have a look at the left footer here. Look at this. still down and still in trouble. Yes, the stretch has gone out there, Sandy. This is just fantastic football from Bayes again. That's the way the forward likes to have the ball delivered. Beautiful low trajectory pass. We'll just see it again as we wait for Richardson to be attended here. You're right, Dennis. I think just, you are, when you get to that situation, yeah. you're very concerned about what's looming in front of you, knowing you can't move it. If you watch that replay in flight, he looks towards the fence as he's coming down, doesn't he? Now, that's not to say it caused the problem with the knee, but certainly the fence interrupted his concentration there. I'm sure of that. Well, speaking of being interrupted, Tony Lockett is going to have to wait. That's a tragedy. They are bringing uh, young Matt Richardson straight across the ground on a stretcher. But uh, a tragic sight for Richmond fans and football fans is arguably one of the most exciting young prospects in the game at the moment, Ross. Oh, there's no question. And let's just hope that, you know, it's it's not as serious uh, as maybe it looks. Yeah, so without uh, putting a dampener on, if you just see this once again, he took his eyes off the ball, as you said, and was concerned about what was coming in front of him in terms of the fence, and then forgot about his footing and just landed so poorly. Great courage to go for that sort of mark so close to the no. fence. A lot of players wouldn't have done that. Knowing you've got a defender behind you. Yeah. And a player like Dunkley is hard at the ball. I oh, mean, a lot to consider there. So Stuart Edwards will be the player who's going to come on and take his place. But I'm sure that uh, Russell Morris will have a report on that and will most certainly keep you in touch here. As I said, Edwards coming on. And we go back to the action now with Tony Lockett. Who took the mark after the Bayes pass. This is the lead up here. This is a fantastic... Fantastic kick coming through from Bayes. 
Now a chance to kick Sydney's third. From 45 metres, he leans into this one and puts it straight through the middle. The Lockett Show continues in Sydney. Scores are level. Yes, that's textbook type football. And Locke has presented himself quite a few times uh, so far in this first quarter, but all players elect to go long over his head or shooting for goal. Good stuff. points of peace of irony there Richardson off the ground Lockett kicks a goal Rocker goes up and knocks it down Cresswell throws it on the boot touched off the boot taken by Campbell goes down towards Harford Doreen's in front hit the ground running lacking support a little ambitious over the top Euskis run down by Maxfield back it comes to Doreen nicely done Run around Maxfield, across to Kapler. Kapler bombs it towards Harcourt. They come from all directions. Loose ball behind. Kelly with an opportunity. Tries to keep it in front. And Lachlan hits the behind post on the bounce. It will be thrown in. 3-1 apiece. Good start in ideal conditions at the SCG. Bullis and Mooney. Neal is 19. Bullis did pretty well. Kelly, the rover, in from the side. Got it down to Brunton, who hooks. That looks very good. Behind. Didn't miss by much. A terrific effort. That point now being the margin. As Scotty Turner comes straight down the middle. Rocker again was the big flyer. Whitney has a chance now to set something up for the Tigers. Gail on the outer side, an opportunity to run. That's Michael Gale up towards his brother Benny. Taken out of it at the back. And again, Sydney should tidy up through Dunkley. Should. They should get out of trouble. Bayes thought about taking the hand pass, but it goes back to Dale Lewis. Good Lewis kick. swings it in towards the centre. McRae rides the bump, has still got the foot. He tries to come out the back door. The hand pass by Creswell goes straight to Gale. He couldn't take it cleanly. And now an opportunity for Kellaway. Richmond go down through Broderick towards the 50 metre line. Daffy is there but kicks straight into the man on the mark. A little untidy on Richmond's half forward line at the moment. And eventually the umpire comes in for a bounce. There's no doubt that Dean McRae lost that ball in the sun. It's a giant sight screen. <laughs> a giant one. <laughs> on the 50 metre line for the Tigers. Gale does the leaning. Kellaway does the scouting. Now this is Michael Gale. 45 metres in towards goal and going across the face to register one behind. Again, the score's locked up. Cool day. Richmond only made the journey up mid-morning. John Northey hoping for a hit and run. This is Brunton. To the outer side, Gale and Bays. Michael Gale on the outer wing. One of the best crowds we've seen at the SCG. Of course, 24,000 against Carlton last week, but uh, marvellous to see them coming out today. Such an important day for Sydney and their future, bearing in mind their next month is on the road. They can sneak the four points here and go storming up the ladder. Who knows what they could produce in the weeks ahead. Kellaway tries to go through the Tigers, taken high. And uh, Duncan Kellaway will have a free kick between centre and half forward for Richmond. Under seven minutes remaining in this first quarter. Edwards is a fresh man on the ground, but it's Ruse who takes the mark. Oh, oh kick straight into Daffy. Could spell danger. Neil picks it up for the Tigers, and he's got a maiden point. 3-2. Garlic making the error in defence. The Tigers getting the goal to get this lead. There's Gale. Against Mooney. They fight a draw. At their feet, Knights boots it down towards half foot. It bounces over the head of Daffy. Opportunity behind and well played by Nash. Knocked it down into the path of Broderick. He's got problems, Broderick. Just outside the 50. With him all the way was Brunton. 
and the ball is across the line. No quarter there. Brunton tying him up all the way. And Broderick, I suppose, would argue he wasn't in control. The umpire let them play. Gale hooks it down towards the 50-meter line. Ruse slides in, knocks the cross to the advantage of Huskus, who runs away from half-back, comes towards half-forward. Kelly gets low down, takes the mark of Uni. Paul Kelly. About 70 metres out, centres it. Rocker goes up, off hands down in front. Wigney against the flow. He was buried immediately. Tape is dragged out of it. Kick it's in there. Wigney comes again. They're going in very solidly. Thrown on the boot by Knights. But he gets it across the line. There's no one this ball was going to get out of Paul Kelly's grasp. He gives it 100% as Paul Kelly. He was reported against Richmond last season in round 19. That was a fiery game, a bit of feeling between these clubs. He was reported for striking Chris Bond. And they're in close proximity around this ball. Down goes McRae. He was slung. Socket pulled by Broderick. Down towards half forward. Huskus kept it in front pretty well. Broderick again flicks it over the top to accommodate Campbell. Campbell averaging 26 possessions a game this season. Floats it to the pocket. Doreen does well. Eyes only for the ball. Edwards was coming up on a lead, but Doreen sensing the danger got back. He's an emerging player. Gives it to Brunton. Awkward hand pass. Soft phase in the trouble. One against three. And the one has done particularly well. That's Bond. He ties it up. I'm not sure he was trying to get the ball out, but he did well enough. Five minutes remaining. First quarter here at the SCG. Bullis doing the ruck work, but it's Dale Lewis who sneaks away. Goes on to the left foot, a high kick up towards half forward. Kellaway was the flyer. Miranda has it locked in. Garlic making sure he was going nowhere. And another bounce. Bullis, a front spot. They come over the top. 3-2 to 4-2. Richmond at the moment lead. Very, very tight. And hopefully that's the way it will continue as Catalyst kick heading towards Creswell and then the boundary line. amongst those that flew. Kellaway waits down for Richmond. Somehow gets through some fairly heavy traffic. Wobbles it up towards the half-forward line. Doreen is there for Sydney. Written into the ground, said the umpire by Chris Nation. And Scotty Doreen will take the free kick. Six possessions. From half-back. He looks down towards centre wing, down towards... Rocker territory amongst others. Mooney there also. Dale Lewis waiting down in front. Had it for a moment but then lost it. McRae gets it across to Bays. Partly smothered by tape. That was good as Bullis tries to soccer off the ground. Look at Bullis in there once again and they pounce upon him. He's at the bottom of the pack. That was a terrific smother, Sandy, by tape because the ball was going to finish up with Lockett. Yep. So a very important effort there. Three and a half remaining in this first quarter. Mooney, the flyer, Michael Gale there also, Lewis gets it out, here's a chance for Daniels and he tumbles it towards Lockett and Turner, it ricochets away from them and over the line for a throw in. In Sydney's right forward pocket zone, but it's a Richmond who leads at the moment by one goal. A rueful look back at the sun from Tony Lockett, it affected Turner in that confrontation as well. This is O'Loughlin about 35 metres out, he snaps, he pulls it back too far, it's out of bounds on the full in the opposite pocket. Scott Turner will get the result in free. One of eight Tigers to play in every game last season. Hasn't missed one this year. Out of the back pocket goes very wide. Bond will need to stretch it. Runs away from him. Tantalizingly. It's a boundary throw in. Scotty, he's not listening. 4-2 to 3-2. Mooney and Wigney. Body to body, Wigney had the strength and flicks it down, kick it, kept it in front initially. It spills to Bond, who boots it around the outer side. It's a floater down towards half forward. Nash, the big leap from behind, running into a dead end was Neil. And the umpire wants it, so just over two and a half minutes to quarter time. Tough game so far. Gale 
reaches in, knocks it down. Brunton on all fours. Broderick at the base of the pack. Kapler emerges with it somehow. Kicks it out very wide. Derek Kickett tried to keep it. In front, lost it. Kellaway had it for a moment. Cresswell back towards Kickett. Tape, too fancy. Kickett robbed him of the ball. Clever hands. Set Cresswell into space. He's got a bounce. Short passes inside the 50. Miranda gets up to fist away, but only as far as Mooney, who tried to go back towards the middle. Cresswell's got the ball in the meantime. It's going to be a free kick to Mooney at 50 metres. Miranda losing his cool down there, right on the boundary, and suddenly this will put Mooney directly in front on the line. Unforgivable. Yes, the free kick initially was for a high tackle, and then the frustration, as you said, Dennis, just very untidy. Here it comes. That's what the free kick was for initially. And it was more of the same. So Mooney to level the scores. He does. Yes, it's one of those cardinal sins in football. You just don't, having given away a free kick, then give them a certain goal. It's very undisciplined play. I'm looking for the runner. What do you think? What are the odds? I think it's a very good chance he might be out there. At least for a word. Hello? Nothing at the moment. Eight individuals have kicked goals today. As we go back in the middle once again. Scores level, Jason Daniels tries to fling it towards centre wing, had it for a moment, then lost it. Broderick feeds it out towards Michael Gale. They go down towards Daffy, pulls it in with the one hand, but he's outside 50. Call to play on is the duck. It's a high kick in towards full forward. If you've just joined us, there's no Richardson. He's off the ground with knee problems. We'll have more news on that a little bit later for you. But Kelly charges Sydney out of trouble up towards kicker. But he's beaten for it on this occasion, and Kellaway has it on the defensive side of centre wing. Kellaway's high floater goes up towards half forward. Kelly is there to Bayes. Normally his delivery is impeccable. On this occasion, Michael Gale gets it away towards Bullis. There's been a whistle. It's going to come back to Gale, who was impaired by McRae, yes, in the middle of the ground. So with just over a minute remaining, it's all tied up. Wobbly old kick slews off the side of the boot, past Campbell. Daniels is with him and he beats him on that occasion. Capra up towards half forward. There's time here for Garlic. He has a look up towards Lockett territory. Sun in his eyes, it doesn't matter. Well, Mike Gale justifiably hangs his head in frustration. Such a poor kick from an experienced player like that across the midfield. And all of a sudden the ball comes back to the opposition. They get a shot at goal. Jason Daniels read it pretty well off the boot. He's done a few of those himself. <laughs> Knew exactly where it was going. It was good play by Daniels. Yeah, good kick by Kepler too. He's been pretty good in the first quarter, Kepler. Lock it for his second. And for Sydney, a six-point lead. Slow, deliberate in his approach. He's away to the left. They lead by a point. That will probably be the scoring for the quarter as Turner is about to bring it back into play. Scott Turner to the outer side towards Gale. Well, they pile over the top of him. Broderick heads towards the boundary line. And as he suffers it up towards centre wing, the siren sounds, and Ron Marassi makes his way out onto uh, his team's home turf here at the SCG after a very even, tight, tough first quarter with Sydney scoring four, Richmond scoring four, and as I said earlier, eight individual goal kickers. Tony Lockett, much, uh, many eyes on him today. He has won so far. Richardson, of course, for Richmond, is sadly off the ground. We'll have more news on that a little bit later on. But the quarter time score here at the SCG sees Sydney leading by a point. 4 3, Richmond a 4 2, no doubt about that. And Aussie rules on a roll in the Harbour City. Kelly couldn't take it. Down towards Daffy, he couldn't either. Kapler will swing onto the left foot. 
Probably didn't put it exactly where he wanted it. Out in front of Lewis it is now, however. Bond gives chase. Lewis soccers off the ground. And closing fast. And a throw in to take place. Yes, that's an important player, Lewis, for Sydney's uh, fortune, Sandy, that uh, he's been paid the compliment of having Bond tagging him or running with him, as they prefer you to say these days. Gale just trying to flick it over the top, looking for his brother. Didn't find him. Lewis, twisting and turning, almost gets out of trouble. In the end, it was Bond who got the hand pass away. In towards the centre, Daniels claimed by Campbell. Creswell at the bottom, Daniels goes over the top. Lockwood couldn't take it, but Dean McRae can. On the left foot he goes, he charges towards Lockwood. Well, that's a fantastic kick, Sandy his not preferred left foot from Dean McRae and the ball also favoured Lockett's right hand side which gave him just an even better opportunity to mark the ball without Turner getting a fist in there. If it had come to Lockett's left to our right, Turner might have had a chance to get a fist in there. Well he's on a tight angle but we'll have a bird's eye view of this. The distance won't be a problem. Kicking into the shadow of the stand to the left and will not score. Well, that is most uncharacteristic. Yes, I mean, even his, his earlier kicks too, Sam, he doesn't seem to be as fluent in his action as he normally is. Tony Lockett standing the mark. What's that, 30 goals for the season. Scott Turner, a shake of the head as the ball comes in deep. <laughs> Plenty of time for the Swans to pick up as Turner brings it back towards the members' side. Big pack at the fall of the ball. It runs free behind Bullis. Knocks it on. Gained about 15 metres. McRae, the man who sent that last ball down to lock it, does well in a tight situation. Mooney brilliantly over the shoulder to Lewis. He pinpoints it nicely as well. And up ahead at left half forward is Rocker, who can kick it a long way. Off a couple of steps, that was a poor effort. It bounces out of bounds in the pocket. Rather casual. The boundary throw in. That's one of the disappointments with some players play that you work so hard to get the ball, and then when you get rid of it, you don't use it effectively. Mooney and Bullis. Bullis slaps it back towards the boundary line. Tate hesitated. O'Loughlin didn't. Cresswell met solidly by Miranda, and the ball goes across the line. Aaron Cresswell, best and fairest for the Swans last season. Tough hombre. In fact, the umpire has elected to bounce it. Well, they keep it in. Roderick slung. Opportunity for O'Loughlin into space. Garlic back to his own goal. Daniels tried to stand there, was bowled over. Down goes Garlic again. And the umpire decides to whistle it up and bounce the ball directly in front of goal, about 40 metres out. The umpires this afternoon. A couple of newcomers flanking a very experienced umpire. Knocked down by Bullis, off hands. This is Prescott, probing kick through midfield towards half forward. Gale goes up, juggled attempt at the mark is paid. Rightly so, good attempt. Gale, alongside the centre circle, spots it for Edwards on the lead. Awkward half volley for the big man. Ruse gets back, hasn't had a kick as yet. Well done out of there by Kaplan towards the other side wing. Daniels and Campbell. Daniels leads Wayne Campbell in the race. Tumbles a punt kick up towards the half forward line. But a strong mark taken by Miranda. Wants to go on with the job. Croppy hand pass. It may prove very, very costly. Derek Kickett says you can't do that and get away with it. Seven points the margin. The Swans in front now. Maxfield, well done through the congestion, boots it down towards half forward, Doreen, like his style, across to Lewis, who hesitated, Ace has got it, open goal, beckons, he gets it away, Daffy goes in, and scores from five metres out, quick reply, he's got his second. Well, it was almost a carbon copy of the uh, Miranda situation on the ring, Dale Lewis, not instinctively getting rid of the ball in the first opportunity, to see the kick coming down from Maxfield, Doreen handles it off, and then instead of giving off the first opportunity, Dar Lewis gets pinned. Easy goal. Miranda's off. 
Bauer is on. So Kickett has two, and Daffy has two for Richmond. As Lewis tries to make amends, couldn't quite get it to Mooney. Ninth through, but without it. Broderick has it. He has a look up towards Edwards' territory once again. It was in front spot, but belted clear of it. Drops down in front. Daffy has another ping towards goal and misses. One behind. Yeah, so Mark Marina just want to be careful. He's almost trying to rearrange the, the dugout down there as he came to the bench. The tempo. Lewis to Kepler. The left footer is away. Up over centre wing. Bullis gets a fist to it. Bond's waiting down at the back and sees it over the line. Bullis gave a nudge. McRae waiting down in front. Almost tripped over the football and lost it. Michael Gale almost threw it out. Broderick close to the boundary line. The left footer spirals it towards Brendan Gale. Couldn't take it cleanly. Poppy hand pass by Creswell goes back in towards the middle. Now a chance for Matthew Knights to take the hand pass. Almost threw it out to Neil. Nash goes up towards the 50. Richmond go in towards Daffy. Close to the boundary line is Nick Daffy. And Huskis puts the pressure on. It's over, and another throw in. McDaffey has two goals this afternoon. 21 for the season then. His best was six against North Melbourne back in that route in round four. Lewis didn't have the ball off the ball. Brunton goes along the ground. It bounces out towards the boundary. Prescott coming through hard. He's working against Kelly. And the ball goes across the boundary line, so a throw in. Ashley Prescott. Mooney and Gale, could have almost been a free to Gale. O'Loughlin went to ground. Mooney on his knees did pretty well. Bauer, nicely done. And again, good evasion. Bauer running towards the centre square. Not a particularly good kick down towards centre half forward. It bounces beyond Edwards. Gathered beautifully by Doreen. Now the Swans a chance around the outer side. Kapler can go over the top to Dunkley. Still Kapler tries to soccer it across to Dunkley. In between he and Dunkley was Daniels. He goes back to Kapler. He's determined to get the ball to Dunkley. <laughs> Dunkley's got it running down towards half forward. Well, it didn't work out. Brutton goes back towards Daniels close to the line. And across it goes. Well, they had the numbers around the outer side constantly there. Dunkley taking too long to get rid of it. Yes, you absolutely would have sensed there was someone around or there's a lack of t talking from his teammates to let him know that he's under pressure. Rocker knocks it down. Brunton missed it. Cresswell came wheeling out of that pack. In goes Knights. Like a scrum. And the whistle. Just under 14 minutes till half time. Scores level. Very important game this one. Richmond looking to get back on track. And of course the Swans. Looking to improve their position and press for the eight. Here's McRae who's been handy across to Daniels. Daniels boots it inside the 50. Storming up the ground is Turner. Lays it off nicely. Whitney, another run. Second and a third bounce up through midfield and a fourth. The defender running down towards centre half forward. He smells a goal here. Eventually goes across to Gale who measures the kick from 35. And the Tigers are in front. I want a bogey. Campbell may get a free kick out of the centre. He was held, said the umpire. And Wayne Campbell, kick number six, has a look up towards half forward. Edwards was his target. Nash waiting down, gets it quickly across to Daffy. Michael Gale heads in towards goal once again and just takes the mark inside. He's going to play on and run round. Or he's going to try to before the umpire says no. Just tricky. <laughs> yes, Gale was always going to be in the area there, ran down very hard to get in position. So he's got a chance at his second. Now he's called a play on. And now he runs around and he slams it into the wall. For a point. Six looks, four. Looks like he's going to atone there, Sandy, for a couple of uh, errors early in the first quarter. Plays 5-3. Been nip and tuck so far in this game. 
and it's been excellent to see. Here goes Creswell, giving it across to Brunt, it came from Kepler up towards uh, the half forward line. Tate defends for Richmond. Jamie Tate goes back towards centre wing. Again, Sydney first to the ball. Daniels at the moment too good for Campbell. Socket off the ground. Up towards Michael Gale once again. With him is Dale Lewis. Gale in front but close to the boundary line. Goes in towards the pocket region. Edwards got a hand and he's quick to recover. Does well but he can't quite get it across to Benny Gale. Sydney try to lock it up. Edwards still working hard. A snap and it's a high snap too. It's not a bad one. For one behind by Chris Nash. As Jamie Lawson, one of the uh, forgotten young men, sadly, who had that uh, tragic accident that has kept him out of the game and threatens to for some considerable time yet. But we'd certainly love to see him back as Dunkley is away for Sydney. Wobbles it towards Dean McRae. Thought about Lewis. Maybe he should have given more thought to him. Bar, fresh legs on the ground. 46 metres out. Heads for home. Daniel McPherson on. Suddenly the Tigers by 14 points. Prescott got it down from Gale. Boots it towards full forward in front. Edwards knocked down towards Nash. Edwards comes again hurriedly onto the boot. And this man is causing them a lot of problems on the forward line suddenly. Gale pulls it back towards the middle. Wigney has to wait. Well done by Brunton. Got it on the ground. Tried to crash his way through was Kapler. Brunton left without it. Wigney with strength. Charges in. Hand passes towards the kickoff line. Down goes Dunkley. In there is Edwards. Clears it momentarily. Picked up by Brunton. Throws it on the boot towards the outer side. O'Loughlin is there in front of Tate. Quick hands. And Kelly storms away. This should be a goal. Mooney can run on, but he elects to kick from 55 and pulls it. He was looking for extra distance when perhaps he could have run that distance. He could well have. And what's silky skills by O'Loughlin? Told the ball beautifully. There's Turner. 7-5, five, 5-4, five, kicks towards the outer side. With a lovely long kick. And as far as Creswell, he's 70 metres out from goal. And that's a poor kick, it drops short, Paulus takes the mark. From half back, he defends towards centre wing, that also is going to land with Dale Lewis. a late call from Lewis there. McRae all but came back. I'm expecting a collision there. Hitting back Sydney play. Gives it uh, back to Bullis. Come on, Lewis. You got nothing, Benny. Come on, son. Brendan Gale ambles down towards the wing. Keen for this one. Well, had a chance. But Bayes was the effective spoiler. Knight's pushing the ball along in front. McPherson tries to stop. Goes over the top. And yes! Not to the line of the Sydney fans. Matthew Knight's gets pink. McPherson. Crowd wants 50. Are you in shock, Ross? Sure. Again. Spent some time in shock today. Balls. The half back. Goes straight down the middle. Wayne Campbell. Been one of the great possession getters in the game so far this season. An excellent player. Well, that kick wasn't so good, however. They're very quick to turn it over. Speaking of turnovers, Maxfield says thank you very much for that one. Stewie Maxfield on the outer wing. Runs away from Garley. Heads up towards the 50 metre line. Towards Brendan Gale. One grab. It wasn't enough. Neil runs into a brick wall. He's done very well on uh, Paul Roos, Mark Neil. Not a good feeling, that one. Camped in front of the pack. The ball comes down in front. The pack keeps coming. Gale slaps it out wide. Kelly knocks it towards the line. And the boundary throw in. Just under eight minutes till half time. Jason Daniels waiting to come back on. Meantime, thrown in. McPherson controls it pretty well. Close to the boundary. 
hugs the boundary with a kick, and not a bad one either. Gray dropped the mark, trying to go to O'Loughlin, missed the target. Knights comes away with some time, kicks back inside the 50. Good mark is held by Lewis. And did he play on? Not according to the umpire. Now he does kick it cleverly to Dunkley. It needed to be precise, and it was. Here's McPherson up through the middle. Heard the voice back towards the middle on his knees, Kapler. He heard Kickett coming through. Bomb. He won't make any concessions. Coming in the opposite direction. Down went Kickett. And Kickett's been taken high. Well, they made hard work of that, the Sydney Swans. <laughs> Yes, when you're not quite in touch, you don't start doing the, the more difficult, uh, trying to execute the more difficult skills, just do the basic percentage football. Well, his head is ringing. Derek Kickett's got two goals. I wouldn't rule out the spiral from here. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Give it a ride, Derek. <laughs> That's the boy. <laughs> about five metres out. Seen that one before, Roscoe. Across the line it goes. He was my man. Oh Probably knows he should pass, but he thinks, what the heck? Go for it, Torby. Yeah, love him. Two kicks in it. Just over seven minutes remaining in this first half. Turn it about. Sneaks around the boundary line as he's called a play on. Michael Gale won't get there in time and a throw in. Lewis and McRae, both closing fast on him. Good tight first half here at the SCG. As round nine continues. Prescott at the bottom, claimed by Kelly. They then decide to sit on each other. Ruse in that pack as well. Still on centre wing. Neil, Ruse, Bauer over the top. Daniels back on on the ground. He's only off for a short time. Campbell soccers it away. Straight towards Bays. The loping long left footer goes down towards the half forward line. Lockett and Turner. Turner chances up. With the socket off the ground. Missed it. Gray gives the hand pass in front of Gale. Should be a Sydney goal. Two goals. He's got two for the Tigers. Margin back to six points. Seesawing affair this one. Good bounce in the middle too. One down by Mooney. Wide of the pack. Cresswell left it behind. Picked up by Brunt. Throws it on the boot. Gallic drops the mark. He's at right half forward. He's got plenty of help. He feeds it out wide to Kelly. 55 metres out to the pocket. And the big fella. Tony Lockett low down. Sharp angle this one. So far. Yes, garlic well done again. A lovely pass there from the skipper. Lockett's best against the Tigers. Nine. Of course, is a Saint in round seven back in 1993. Total 59 in 12 games. This is Kilda against Richmond. Important kick this one. To tie it all up. Tony Lockett. Deep the right full forward pocket. Bounds on the foot. The second time today. Just over five minutes remaining in the first half. Knights will bring it back into play. Short to Turner. Still tucked in the back pocket. Richmond leading by one straight kick. Veers towards the boundary line and Lewis as casual as you like just lopes over and lunges up top of the pack to take the mark. Goes in towards the middle and Creswell who gives it off to his captain Kelly down towards the 50 metre line. Kick it waiting down and Gray. And a free kick. Going to go back. Troy Gray was away, but Garlic has it. Oh, look at this. Oh. Well, comedy of errors on that occasion, although Turner gets claimed. Maxville may get Richmond out of trouble. He's got a bit of space now, Stewie Maxville, on the outer side. Couple of bounces. He can have his third. He does. He's down to centre wing with number four. There's number five. Up towards the right half forward flank. 
towards the 50 metre line, towards the Gale brothers. No one able to take it. Nash was there also. And the Sydney defence with Ruse working hard. Gale unable to take the opportunity. Doreen towards the boundary line. And he's eventually over. A throw in. Left forward pocket. A goal, a difference. Favouring the Tigers. Four minutes remaining. Gray in front. Quickly onto the boot there. Well done. Gains about 25 metres. Cresswell pushes the ball across the line. So once more, it'll be thrown in. Sit down till half time. Gail directs it down in front. Maxfield off a couple of steps, pulls it back towards the 50. Bayes goes back, takes the mark, lays it off. Kapler, all the time in the world, Kapler comes across the ground. Good kick. He's normally very precise. McPherson's got it. Makes it left half back. Goes towards the wing. In front, Huskis the line it goes keep it in so boundary throw in once more Derek kick it two goals a handy player Gray trying to knock it down in front then McPherson follows on and gets it again he's roving to himself the last couple of boundary throw ins kicked it down towards left half forward coming through his bond terrific player bond across the line on that occasion Another throw in. Chris Bond. And his AFL debut with Carlton. Down in front of the pack. Uh, Lachlan heads for the boundary. So a lot of effort here for a little return. Dying minutes of the first half. Swans down by six points. Daniels put his body in. Uh, Lachlan couldn't control it. How about that for courage? Crashing into that pack. Paul Kelly knows no other way. Interesting young man, Paul Kelly, the skipper of the Swans. Well, they've got a fight off the ball. Mooney and Bullis, I think, yes. Bullis underneath there. Now Bond and Garlic, a little tag team action. The players slowly drifting down there, and a free kick is going to Mooney. saw none of that up ahead. They were about 35 metres from the ball. Yeah, it was only the crowd's uh, noise that alerted me to it too, Dennis, so I can't help you out there either. Well, Mooney's got it. With a chance to level the scores right here. Checking at his second. The Tiger players pleading their case. Bullis and Campbell. down there getting plenty of help Mooney with the free kick gets the goal nice hack it's level once again as Prescott sends Richmond into attack but only as far as Doreen who takes the mark at half back and wants to go on with the job he plays on now Sydney pumped up as they go over the head of O'Loughlin he's very quick to recover the youngster gives the hand pass across to McRae. Shepparton sees him there and he gets another one. A couple of minutes for the home side. He's been very good to McRae. Sourcing the ball out from half back at times through the midfield and then delivering forward. He's been very handy here and Kaplan have been pretty good midfield. And again, O'Loughlin featuring a good goal. According to my reckoning, the Swans have got the last three goals in this game. Good surge approaching half time. Rucks go at it. Falls at their feet. Maxfield digs it out. Intended for Kellaway. Kelly with the pace, though. Look at him go. Dragged down. Ruse, who's been quiet, gets it across to McPherson. Blanketed off the boot. It goes as far as Bond. Aided by a good shepherd. He puts play towards the outer side. It bounces just inside the field of play. It bounced on its point and came back to Cresswell. It gets it across to Kapler. Back it comes to Cresswell. The kick is ill-directed. And Prescott takes the mark on his chest. 
Just over a minute to half time. Prescott puts it towards the middle. In from the side, Lewis. Taylor made for it. Knocks it down. Mooney kept it in front. Bays paddles it out wide. Then stopped it brilliantly. It was taken high. Bays to get the free. Right on the wing. Goes down towards left half forward. Daniels in best position. Campbell always had a problem. It was coming back on Daniels. Daniels able to hold his ground. Centers it. Well, Ray needs to grow in front. Brunton slides in there, controls it pretty well. Over the top for Cray and a bounce. Ball up just outside the 50. Inside the last 30 seconds of the first half. Roderick going nowhere. That's Campbell. And I'd venture to say... We won't see much more action. The umpire will bounce it. Unsatisfactory way to end a game or a quarter. The clock running down. And the umpire taking the time to bounce. Prescott dragged off it. Knights gets it away. This is Bauer on the siren. So it's half time at the SCG. The Sydney Swans fell off the pace by 14 points in that term. The boat came storming back and at half time they lead by six. Some late goals there. The result of some very good and hard work by the Sydney Swans. Mooney got one of those goals involved with Bullis. He got the ball downfield. The players were setting themselves for a boundary throw in. Suddenly the umpire spotted something. Bullis was penalised. Tony Lockett has missed some opportunities. Just the one goal. And most uncharacteristically, two out of bounds on the full. Dean McRae there on the right has been good. Entertaining game. Plenty of mistakes so far, but the Swans lead it by six. So here we go. Second half, a goal, a different Sydney lead. They're going to the right of screen. Bullis comes over the top and cops one as they lock it up in the middle. Another bounce will take place. Mooney. Kicked two goals, one in each quarter today. Was given one as a gift with a 50-metre penalty. Bullis has got to stand his ground. Broderick tries to storm through and steal the football, but he's not allowed to. still virtually smack in the middle this time pushed towards the wing Kelly and a legal tackle on Matthew Knights and he will send the Tigers down into their forward zone the lightning left footer goes down towards the 50 kick is very wide Cresswell didn't get there in time and going to ground and going over the boundary line is Justin Murphy in to do the ruck work but uh, is held on to taken away from the ball he has the free 60 meters out from goal floats it in towards full forward no mark taken Murphy gets a hurried kick it goes straight across the face of goal McRae has been very busy for Sydney he's going to have to be now as Bauer hassles into the line then asks the question but the ball spills over throw in in the right forward pocket Nathan Bauer kicked a goal in the second quarter after starting on the bench. Gale and Gray, the 225s. Gale hooks it down behind, kick it, had it, then lost it. Doreen out of the congestion towards midfield. O'Loughlin, almost the mark. He was pushed in the back. He'll get the free kick. Inside the centre square. O'Loughlin, exciting prospect, comes out wide, loses the target, up he goes, couldn't hang on. Campbell, well done. Still Campbell across his own half back line. Now Knights on the wing, goes down towards half forward, setting it up for Gale in front. Timely fist, got it away by Bayes. And now Kelly. Kelly's hand pass a little untidy. Cresswell had to wait. Now they've got a problem. Well done by Prescott. He played and beat three of them. McPherson's hand pass, untidy. Into a nest of Tigers. Down goes Knights. Daffy tries to soccer off the ground. They're going in willingly. McPherson floats one towards the wing, kneels in front. 
with Ruse. Play on the goal. Ruse wants a three, nothing doing. Tight, clever hand pass. Sent Kellaway to space. Tough to do at the SCG sometimes. He kicks well inside the 50, and that's a mark. Now it's not to the umpire. He was only 10 metres away. Dunkley's hand pass bounces off the chest of Doreen. Daffy snaps at his third. Hasn't got the distance. Back goes Lewis. Watch the fence, boys. A boundary throw in. No, in fact, he's paid the mark, has he? Well, that's a good grab. Great concentration by Dale Lewis. From the back pocket. Broderick has his eyes on this one. And he's going to send Richmond back into the forward zone once again. A little worm burner just inside 50 to Nick Daffy. One in the first, one in the second. John Norley has stated that he's expecting at least three or four from Daffy each week. That's his job. At the moment he has two, so he's well on the way to doing that job today. This to level the scores at the SCG. Pretty deadly uh, on the run. Let's have a look at him from a set shot, Nick Daffy. Way to the right. And an opportunity missed for Richmond there. Five points the margin. Sydney hoping this win today will be uh, the launching pad for a big month. As they head around the country hoping to consolidate their position. McRae goes short to Creswell. Creswell has it on the outer half back flank. Has a look up towards a congested wing area. Ruse was shoved out of it. But Bullis has the mark, so it doesn't matter. Five marks to Paul Bullis. Puts them inside 50 once again. Murphy had it. Brendan Gale went for the mark, then tried to get it out, but had no assistance whatsoever. A cry of ball from Sydney fans, but no. Another bounce, just inside 50. Sydney leading by five points. Kick it, trying to get out of defence. Almost gets it away, but Prescott lays a solid tackle. Brendan Gale's got to pick himself up and contest the ruck work once again. Prescott there also. Coming into this Richmond lineup. Brendan Gale goes to Prescott. Which way will it bounce? Going to be all right for Sydney. Dunkley was playing in front. They should get out of trouble here. Camper on the end of it. He's on the halfback flank. And the left footer can go up the ward centre wing. Campbell had for a moment, but then lost it. An opportunity for Bradley. No, another opportunity for Campbell. Two sharing it around as Neil picks it up now. Pumps it high towards half four, but straight to kick it. Oh, some bad talking there, I fancy. Kick it, sold into trouble. The hand pass eventually from Bayes to McRae. McRae back inside, intended for McPherson. It was wide at the mark, gave Tape a chance. Roderick, who's been quiet by his standards, to Daffy. He floats one out wide, but it was good. Now Bauer in space can run inside the 50 and take a shot at goal and he does that in fact he won't get the distance from behind murphy it comes down in front gale dragged down by doreen nash knocks it towards the boundary line it's across and will be thrown in well i think we've seen all the mistakes you can make in a football match uh, so far in this quarter yes plenty of them that's interesting off the ball meantime then he grabs it Kicks it back towards halfback. Bauer back to his own goal. Tried to be slick and give it to Tate. It didn't succeed. He comes again. O'Loughlin down on the ground. Tries to knock it out. In there is McRae. And we'll have a bounce. Dean McRae, former North Melbourne player, grew up barracking for Richmond. Bounce at left half back for the Swans. Close to the boundary line. That fateful area where Richardson had his problems much earlier today. Wigney to the pocket. Murphy out bustled by Dunkley. You've got to do better than that. Dunkley too easy, angling the ball across the line. So another throw in in the right forward pocket. 
Gale sets himself with a right hand and wins it down towards Prescott and Nash. There's oh, a snap and there's a goal! What a beauty! After that wonderful Nash goal, coming after a quarter of errors, that was something a little different. Kellaway picks himself up. A bounce in the middle. The big pack around it. Bullis wins it, but it's to kick it at the bottom of the pack. Somehow picks himself up, goes up towards half forward. Whitney is spoiled. A lot of them may try and go off the ground. Tries it with some fancy soccer tactics, and it almost comes off. Twisting out was uh, Whitney. Gets the hand pass away towards Bauer. His hand pass in towards the middle. Whitney and Bullis were both there. They both overrun it. Messy football in the middle of the SCG. At the bottom is Neil Brunton. With him is Ashley Prescott. And another bounce. Point, the margin, favouring Richmond, looking to go to the top of the table. Kellaway tumbles it down towards half forward. Gray drifts away to the outer side. And the diving mark is taken by Creswell. Darren Creswell runs on now, up towards half forward. Out comes Lockett! Charging! With him is Garlic. It's got to be Lockett and Garlic. They're going to meet about four of them with the whistle of Sunday. Definitely a free kick, there's no question. Maybe that's a possibility, Dennis. She could be right there. With Lockett running onto the ball. I'm not sure you could hear me before, Ross. Blessing, really? <laughs> <laughs> it was a late whistle, I said. There comes the infringement again as the kid comes deep in the attack there. Wigney went back with a bit of courage, but couldn't quite hang on to it. Fine tackling Garlic without the footy. Maybe that's where the umpire was late in by the initial, perhaps looking to give Lockett the advantage not to be. Comes back to Garlic for his third. So the Swans by five points. A lot of lead changes today. Mooney goes up, lays it down into the path of Kelly, who keeps running with the assistance of O'Loughlin. Can't control it, though, Paul Kelly. Kellaway comes out with it, feeds it back to Knight's. Advantage is going to be paid. No, there was no free kick in there. Or if there was, he was whistled on. Going in McRae, coming through strongly Knight's to Broderick with some time. Now he gets it back to Tate. It ricochets off kick it, only went about 20 metres. Brunton's in there, picked up by Neal, throws it on the boot down towards half forward. The Swans in good position, and a strong mark is held down there by McPherson. Timely one. Plays on. This is Mooney across half back, swings it out very wide. Gray will lead to go, and he does. He's got the ball on the wing, in the sunshine. Casual kick, but effective. Doreen to Kapler on his left foot. Here's trouble for the Tigers. He goes in towards Kelly and Lockett. Kelly takes the ball and kicks a goal. SCG has kick it, pumps them into attack again. Down towards the 50. Could have been some holding on there. The umpire says, go on with it. And the Lockett does. The youngster chips over the top. So he's something special, that boy. Just deft little taps of the football to keep it in play, keep it running freely for him as kick it. I'm not sure it wouldn't have been paid a free kick for being high. Tackled high in the centre there. Gets the ball forward. Just a lovely little tap forward here. Finishes off very well. And he's very emotional, young O'Loughlin, too, after that goal. Why not? A big roar around the SCG. He's alive and well at the present time in New South Wales. Don't worry about that. They're enjoying this. Kick it again out of the middle. Down towards half forward. Tate's on the road this time. Held without it. Prescott was slung. Still tapers going. And eventually, he earns a free kick. Well done. Jamie Tate up towards the centre circle. 11-5 to 
to 8-6. So suddenly, Sydney have opened a gap in this game. Tate goes down towards half forward. Big pack. Dunkley from behind. It's fisted forward. Spills to Ruse, who hasn't had a kick yet. Is that in the back or holding the ball? It was in the back and a free kick to Chapman at the base of that pack. Just on the ground in place of Huskis. Like a lead player getting up to play the ball. Chapman. Dunkley. Now Kapler. Putting himself about Kapler. He runs up to half back. Generally uses the ball well and that's no exception. Kelly ran hard, hard Dennis, from the other side of the ground to make that space. The Swans are making their move. Here's Bays. 75 metres out. Kick it long. Well, he tried to. As a result, he missed Q. Turner was in front. Lockett was off Turner by about 15 metres hanging back. Had he set the kick up properly, it could have been Lockett's ball. Turner, grandstand wing. Big look for Maxfield, waiting behind his Kapler. Kapler gets it towards Press. Well, he just handles. Held without a free kick to Nash. Plays on straight away. Gives it across to Duncan Kellaway. Richmond need to steady now as Gale gives it away to Daffy. Daffy has a look up towards the half forward line, but the, the Swans are in front, and uh, Lewis has it. Let it come back behind the mark. So a sudden flurry by Sydney with Kelly, Garlic, and O'Loughlin goaling. Sees them lead. Lewis kick out in front of Cresma. Got a bit of space and a bit of time as he finds Mooney outside 50. Lockett shielding his eyes from the sun. Here we go, Lockett and Turner. Michael Gale gets the hand pass away to Bond. To the outer side, Bullis takes the mark at halfback. Turner has run off Lockett and he ambles down the halfback line. Drifts it over the centre and he finds Brendan Gale. Thought about playing on, in fact, the umpire said, you have been here, you better go. So he does, in towards half forward. Murphy up tall. Oh, gee. Someone else went up and almost came down in two separate halves. Maxfield's got a chance for a much-needed goal for the Tigers, and he's got it. Stewie Max. Andrew Dunkley's OK after re-entry and touchdown. He went right over the top there and landed very awkwardly. Terrific leap. He's got that the best of kicks but G plays it hard back in the middle and the Tigers coming back at the Swans charging in his bullets kick it has been very effective in the center square garlic went without it Broderick digs it out Kellaway down towards half forward it pitches out wide it's a foot race Ruse and Neal well done by Ruse he's got the ball down half back now he has it he was Rob Nash got it to Bond across it comes to Bauer deep in the pocket I think he may have slotted it no he hit the post right near the top in fact it may be a kick the all clear hasn't been given Bauer will take the kick in the pocket now the umpire appeared to go across and actually ask him if he was happy with the point <laughs> you can't do that no, I don't think so it was a conversation though and Bauer on a sharp angle I mean he could miss everything from here and these near side will be on there goes the kick so, as you were, 11-5-9-7, Nathan Bauer, six and a half minutes till three-quarter time, not a pretty term this one, first half was better but the stakes are very high, players of both teams making even more mistakes in this quarter, here's Garlic, but it's still been very enjoyable. Certainly the crowd enjoying it, with Sydney just in front and playing pretty well. It comes out wide towards the wing, Mooney. So for once you feel in Sydney, the home crowd will be a factor. If this is close late, Mooney puts it out of bounds on the full. Roderick will take the free down in front of our commentary position. His 14th possession goes across the ground. Michael Gale's got it. Not a particularly good kick. He was going for distance. It bounces towards the centre. Kick it storms in. O'Loughlin a half chance. Well done. Slipped it back to Lewis, who pops it out wide. Going back with a flag, McPherson. McPherson, just shy of left half forward, plays on. Sets it up for Lockett. Turner's done very well in that duel. Here's Kelly. 
Almost tackled before he had the ball. Was put down. Prescott did well. Stood up in the tackle. Socked it off the ground by Broderick. It comes out to Wigney. And now the Tigers can clear. Stuart Wigney from halfback comes into Maxfield who takes the mark. Plays on quickly to Bond. They're out of trouble now as Wigney continues to run. Stabs it into Neal. Almost down to half four. Tigers want one here. Precious seconds ticking away in this all-important third quarter. Probably hand pass once again, but Scotty Doreen's equal to the task. Gets the hand pass across towards Dunkley. Comes towards centre wing. Got plenty of hold out for Harding and Bond. Simon Garland eventually gets rid of the Richmond best in Paris and takes the mark. Plays on to Creswell, who goes off to Kapler. They run it through the middle now. Here's Bayes. Let him let one go towards Lockett. Tried to do it with the one hand. Michael Gale ripped off the football. O'Loughlin plays a good tackle on Killaway. Knights comes through for Richmond. Matthew Knights now has a look towards Wigney, and he takes the mark on halfback. Very, very tight. Not always pretty, but very tight. Bays again will have a look up towards half forward. A look up towards Lockett and Turner. Lockett this time trying to do it from the back. He recovers, gets a left foot snap. It's high, but it's wide, and it's out of bounds on the full for Tony for the third time in this game. Just ain't his day, is it? Not today. And now we've got to throw in. At the moment, of course, still plenty of time to go. Over four minutes in this third term. And then what should be a very tight, exciting final quarter as it stands at the moment. Garlic towards Kicken, who's been busy. Bond at the bottom. You see progress scores and uh, the other match being played at the moment. Crowd of some 60,000 plus at the MCG for that one. There's the bounce then in the pocket. Bullis pops in front, knocked over the top. Ryan Mooney. Bond's got it. In the meantime, it's coming back in a free kick to Broderick. Sydney by 10 points. Broderick across the ground. Turner has done a terrific job in defence. He's got this bullet left half back in the shadows of the grandstand. Kicks towards midfield. Wigney just slips away in front there, and that's enough space. He's taken this mark in front of Rocker. Goes short. Kellaway has to stretch. He juggled it. Sees Bond on. Bond about 80 metres from goal, goes towards the pocket, pissed it away by Dunkley against Murphy. He angled that one superbly and it's out of bounds right on the 50. So you know when Andrew Dunkley's going to spoil the ball, it's going to go 25 metres. He gives it a hit with such ferocity. It's the way to clear the ball out of the area. Well done. Rocker and Neil body to body. Rocker gets it down. Ruse, almost a kick. Still Ruse, knocked away though by Bauer, hard against the line, tries valiantly to keep it in, it's still in, gathered by Dunkley, who decides to take them on, but the boundary line is ally there, and he goes across immediately, riding the first bump. So boundary throw in, in the pocket, 11-5 Sydney, 9-7 Richmond, Gale and Rocker, Rocker dragged off it, Kellaway's kick went nowhere, Broderick back to Kellaway, who misses the behind. 17 effective scoring shots to 16 in Richmond's favour, but Sydney lead by nine points with under three minutes remaining. McRae will be going down the aisle later this year. Gets the hand pass away to Creswell, who goes up towards Mooney. The gloved ones combining. Mooney over the top now. Bays, he could have a crack. Now he likes to go short, a bullet-like pass, but quite for Lockett. Kelly's there and he's got to beat a couple and he can't do it. Knights will come away, bouncing his way out of the back pocket region. O'Loughlin gives chase, but Knights gets his kick up towards the centre wing and the mark taken by Duncan Kellaway. His floating kick finds Chris Nash just forward of the centre. Up towards Harford, a big clash of players and Dale Lewis is the last to pick himself up but he's got the free kick. Goes to the outer side. Bullis chips in in front. Takes the mark. Picked up plenty in the air today, Paul Bullis. Puts them inside 50 once more. And if it wasn't a mark, it would have been a free kick. But holding his ground, 
and taking the mark is uh, Edwards. He's going to have a shot just 25 metres out, almost directly in front. It's Tony's uh, second kick coming up for Edwards, who come and replace Richardson. Duncan Egg is completely misreading the flight of the ball flying early. An important kick. The margin at the moment is nine points. Edwards from 25 metres pops it onto the left foot and kicks a goal. He couldn't control it. Creswell back to McRae just forward of the wing. Goes deep into attack, down towards Lockett in front. Turner knocks it away. Well done again. Gale across to Wigney. Heads for the boundary line. Andor Bauer flicks it back. Well worked. Wigney to Gale. Dragged down in the tackle. A hand pass not particularly effective. Kelly gets it across. Chapman to kick it. Kick it slips over. The moment is gone. Or is it? Back comes Chapman. Gave it away. Campbell takes the mark. Inside his own defensive 50. We're down to 25 seconds. Another run, this time from Wigney, but just one bounce as he kicks towards half forward. Big pack at the drop of the ball. In front, Maxfield, a half opportunity, sliding in down there, Miranda. And a whistle, and I'd venture to say that will be the last action of the term. Three points the difference. Sydney up. They led by six at half time. And one at quarter time. Nothing much has changed. So three-quarter time at the SCG, the Tower of Bear, and still one sense is more to come. This game very much in the balance. The breeze is not a factor, but I venture to say that we'll see Sydney have a slight advantage in the final term. Paul Ruse has had a dirty day. Just three hand passes, his tally so far. If he can lift, then maybe Sydney can get up. Of course, the Tigers are without Matthew Richardson and Lockett, just the one goal. Three-quarter time at the SCG. It's the Swans 11-5 and the Tigers a 10-8. Side of the legend. 11-5-10-8. The start of the final term. Bounce favours Bullitt, who goes up and thumps it down. Kicker, who, as we said in the third quarter, has done well in the centre square. His hand pass ineffective that time. Bullis falls on top of the ball and will have a bounce. 11 5, 10 8. Generally, the umpires have done a pretty good job today. One down by Mooney. O'Loughlin got a hand to it. Bullis sock is off the ground, moved at about five metres. And it will be a Tiger free kick. Kellaway, I think, dragged down there. <laughs> really? Yes, it's eventually finding its way back to Kellaway. Still inside the centre square. Kicks it down towards half forward. Gale's the target. McRae in front. Gale reaches over the top, takes the mark, gets the hand pass on. Daffy towards the pocket. Edwards on the lead. Good footy by the Tigers. Edwards got a late goal in that third term. A chance right here to kick his second. Just make good ground to make that a chess mark. Matthew Richardson off the ground. The knee is badly swollen. And no doubt the next 24 hours will tell us more. Terrible news for Richmond. A cloud over this afternoon, no matter what happens. Edwards misses to the near side. They creep a little closer. The margin is back to two points. Scotty Doreen to bring it back into play. Just goes short, finds Andrew Dunkley. Dunkley has a look up towards the centre wing. Broderick somehow gets some tunnel ball working. Whitney unfortunately couldn't, but Kellaway gives him backup support. McRae charges at the football, however, that was good football. Chapman now an opportunity for Sydney. Chapman's just outside 50, but he pulls it into the left forward pocket. That will go out of bounds on the fall. Disappointing kick. With Sydney leading by a couple of points. He would have been very keen to try and score from that, or at least to keep it in the region. Bays comes over the top. He'll put it straight back towards Lock and Territory. Floating sort of a kick, though. It wasn't a good one. And Bullets takes the mark. When the best kicks on the ground are kicking like that, it makes you wonder 
Well, Bullis goes to the outer side and bows away. He can run half the length of the ground. In fact, he's going to. From the back pocket, he goes up towards Edwards. Could be sucking up the ground here. Wayne Campbell! One behind. One point the margin. Campbell today. Perhaps a little quieter by his standards. Ten kicks and three hand passes. Cresswell a free kick. Illegally shoved out. Just repeating that crowd today, 23,174, which is excellent. An excellent couple of weeks for Sydney. Bullis again takes a mark. That is uh, mark number nine to Paul Bullis. To the half forward line. It spills free over the back. Kelly has an opportunity for Sydney. Hand pass goes astray. A couple of Tiger players battling for the football. They've got possession now. Trying to sneak it away was Maxfield. Couldn't do so. It turns over again. Down towards the half forward line. Down towards Garlic. He's away. Simon Garlic. Inside 50. Slams it in towards Tony Lockett. And Scotty Turner is 10 metres behind him. He took a couple of steps, steps got he turned it, and then just stopped completely and watched him. Just conceded straight away that the pass came off. There was no chance. Perhaps even more so, expecting Gallic to have a ping. Classical roving, isn't it? Just the oh, right hand, right. the end yeah. of the way you go. We've seen that with some champions over the years. Well, it's been an uncharacteristic day for Tony. He's kicked one. That was back in the first quarter. But he's kicked a couple out of bounds on the full. That woman is like many fans, holding her breath for this kick. Lockett from 35 has put it straight through the middle. 14 points midway through the second term. Mooney goes up, beaten by Bullis, knocked on by Kellaway. In goes Bauer, taken by Prescott. He boots it inside the 50. Ruse goes back with courage in front. Off hands, Daffy the opportunist, couldn't control it. Edwards stopped it, overrun by Neal, coming through is Dunkley, boots it as far as Campbell, he's right on the 50, throws it on the left foot, pulling it back, good position two up was Lewis, coming through at full tilt is Maxfield, getting in the road was Dunkley, he lost the ball then, went back and found it, ties it up, and a whistle. Plenty of commitment there. Apparently Dean McRae has a twinge and a hamstring, so he's off the ground because of that. His fourth today has been very good. Gale goes up, knocks it down, straight to Lewis. Kicks it back to half-back. Broderick knocked away there by Chapman. Down in front, an opportunity for Doreen. Took too long as a result. Nash has got it. Nash goes, Goldwood from 45. That's got to be a three, doesn't it? Down there to Edwards. Dunkley just turned around and fronted him. Yeah, it was a real jostle there, and because Dudley had his back to the foot, as you can see here, has to be a free kick. No intent on the football at all. So Edwards, from 15 metres out, gets the goal. His second, and we're back to a point. And both sides unrelenting in their surges forward, not allowing the other side to get too great a break. Even though it has been a slightly untidy game, disposal wise, the intensity has been quite high. Back in the middle we go again, still anyone's game here at the SCG. Bullis goes charging at it, but it's Kepler who does the roving work for Sydney it wide out towards the wing. Broderick's got to give chase on this occasion against Chapman. Nothing in this at all. Creswell picks it up. Has a look up towards the half forward line. A tired Bullis lumbers after it. Out comes Lockett on all fours with a quick knee. Oh, Lockett a chance, maybe. Round his body. Oh. Bends it back. Shades of McLeod. Oh. 
he goes up, knocks it down. Knights against the flow. Campbell on the overlap, comes down inside the 50, a telling kick, Edwards. They are slugging it out at the SCG. Edwards will line up for his third. We've been spoiled last night at Football Park, Sandy. Yep. And now this one. A couple of terrific contests. Stuart Edwards going at his third goal of this half. And as I mentioned, the game in place of Matthew Richardson. Can he be the hero? Good looking effort. It's a goal, I fancy. It's good. Goal for goal. 13-5 to 12-10. Yes, you're right, Dennis. He could very well be the fellow who ends up being the hero down there. Quick hands there from the experienced plays. Knights and Campbell combining there. And once again, Duncan just up a bit early. Just mistiming his jump. left in this game. And Mooney does the ruck work. Campbell comes over the top. Bullis tries to get it out of the middle. So too does Bauer. In fact, it's Bauer who gets a kick. It wobbles all the way down towards Edwards. Round his body he goes, but he pulls it too far and goes out of bounds. And out of bounds on the full. Paul Roos. Well, this is going to be his first kick for the day. It back into play. Fisted away from Brendan Gale, a chance for Broderick. Wobbles one down towards the forward line once again. There he is. Edwards, a chance to give Richmond the lead. Yes, he's giving himself an opportunity by playing in front when the ball comes down as awkwardly as it did on that occasion. Makes it terribly hard for the defender to get near it. Broderick, the player to kick. A real tumbling punch. Stuart Edwards going for his fourth. He's already kicked two in this term. For Richmond to hit the front here at the SCG. Four goals to Stuart Edwards. Tiger fans wrapped at being ahead by five points. It's a good example, too, when you get to a situation where it's a tight game. It only takes two or three minutes of pretty good football to give yourself an edge. You either get back into a game or serve some authority on the game. Now they find themselves in front, Richmond. Tigers by five points. 88 plays 83. Willis has been very good. Beaten this time by Mooney. Worked forward by Cresswell towards half forward. Knocked on by O'Loughlin. Here comes the skipper for this one's Kelly. Gets it back to Gray, who pulls it back towards full forward. Lock it in front. Turner, he's done a great job. He got a fist on that one. Daniel's going nowhere. Chapman dragged down. Garlic somehow gets through. Smothered off the boot by Bond. It's a goal. Daniels. In a nightmare season for tipsters, but it's a grand year for football. As this seesawing struggle continues, Hughes has put Sydney into attack again, down towards Garlic in the right forward pocket region. Garlic still going, he looks for the free kick, and he's going to get one, is he? Yes! Simon Garlic in the right forward pocket. The intention was right there, but the kick's just not good enough there. Too high. Michael Gale. Well, that's very wide as well. So Jason Daniels will get a chance to come back once more for Sydney. In the glare of the sun, he heads in towards the shade and lock it. And a free kick has been found. It's going to go the way of Michael Gale. Still plenty of time, just under 11 minutes in this game for either side to snatch a thrilling win. Campbell at the back, gives it away to the running Maxwell, and Stewie does love to run. Campbell going with him to provide the shepherd if necessary. Maxwell's almost down to the 50. From 55 metres, he floats it in towards Edwards, who's the man he wants. Lewis was at the back, couldn't take the mark. They lock it up, trying to get it out was Kellaway towards Daffy. Daffy has a snap, it's gonna be close, but it's away to the left. Thriller. Scores 
Hands a level. Doreen. Daniels. Hugs the boundary with the kick. Cresswell. Is it right half back? Man on in the middle. Huskus. He can take it and go. Huskus running up towards the wing. Kicks down towards half forward. O'Loughlin camped in front. And the top Dunkley. Wow. A move by Ron Barassi. Dunkley's had his problems with Edwards at the other end. Suddenly on the forward line. He's not the best kick in the world, but he can take a strong grab. As we see. <laughs> Obviously, they've come so hairballed and bays for the umpire. And Rowan saw his head set up properly, so he has to go back and try and kick. So, Dunkley, I doubt he can score from here. Taking plenty of time. Stuttering approach. Not a bad effort. He gave it a right into behind. textbook but he got the distance and as a result Sydney have got the lead Scott Turner's got the ball what a remarkable job on Locker straight down the middle goes the kick big leap up in front Buckley again Man of pain. gotta pay it says Creswell Buckley can't believe it Look to Mark. Obviously, the umpire much closer to it than we are. Just to hit the deck. Up goes Mooney, gets it down. The kick comes from Prescott, but only as far as McPherson, who's done some good things. He's alongside the center circle. Decides to go very wide. Gallic has got the fly. In fact, Kelly it was who went up. Diving in there, Prescott. Great desperation. And another searching run around the other side. In fact, he's fumbled Maxfield. Now he's got control of it. A couple of bounces. Pulls it back towards the middle. Edwards is the target. Knocked away by Lewis. In comes Daffy. Met solidly by Kicker. It spills to kill away across the body. There's a whistle and a free kick is going to the Tigers. Yes, I think Derek Kicker pulled uh, Daffy out of the contest there without the footy. And umpire McLaren right on it. So Daffy going at his third of the afternoon. It'll be a timely one, straight through the middle. For eight minutes remaining here at the SCG. Four points there for the taking. Maxfield can't get away on that occasion for another run down into the forward line. Takes a bit away from the game and the man on the PA is saying don't come on the ground when they're playing. But you can do without that. Still in the middle. Mooney comes over the top. Brendan Gale lumps away. Has a look down towards half forward. Over the head of Doreen. Just about clean bowls, everyone. Lewis is there on the last line of defence. And he defends gradually back to Doreen once again. Scotty Doreen comes over the centre. Up towards the half forward line. Dudley in trouble. Trying to get it to Garling. Now the Richmond defence pounce upon it. Whitney is there trouble I think at the bottom of that pack and so too is Bond picking himself up but Whitney may have a touch of cramp we'll wait and see as McRae stands by to come back on he's had his share of injuries hasn't he Stuart Whitney yes he's done an ankle we'll have to wait and see at best I'd say more bad news maybe for the Tigers with, of course, Richardson already sidelined. Two key position players down in the one afternoon. Whitney's been very good this afternoon. 15 possessions. Reminder that the courtesy buses this afternoon. It's unbelievable. But, uh, well, this is unbelievable too for Richmond fans. Stu, we can see if we can pick anything up here, Ross. Very difficult. Yeah, you can't see anything specific from that, Sandy. Obviously, what a plane. So, the while they announce the raffle, this is unbelievable. Uh, Seven minutes to go. What have we got? Five points the difference, and we're talking about the club raffle. Still, we're not. And kids who didn't win it. <laughs> Wigney leaves. The 23,000 are getting a funny impression of footy, though. Well, but the game goes on now. That is very bad, bad luck for Stuart Wigney.
Sydney and for Richmond. Five points the margin. It's the Tigers that lead. And Lachlan was in that pack and he applies a pretty good tackle too. Jason Daniels there also. Free kick has been fouled. Holding on. Yes, to Paul Broderick. A timely free kick to be given away too. 20th possession coming up for Broderick. And uh, just learned from Russell Morris that it was the ankle, or is the ankle, for Stuart Wigney. Broderick towards Bullis. On centre wing, unable to take it. Bays runs out of room. As Brendan Gale makes sure he's over the line. So inside the last seven minutes. Moody in front. And Kelly gets a short kick towards Creswell. Creswell still at the bottom. He did well, working hard. Gives it to Dean McRae across to kick it back to McRae. Well, that's the way he wanted it. Eventually, Daniels accommodates him. Up towards the half forward line. Towards Lockett. This time in front of Turner. Can't take it at the second attempt. They pounce upon the football like lightning. O'Loughlin goes through, but without it. Maxfield's away for the Tigers. Popping it towards the outer side. Wanted tape, couldn't take it. Now Sydney may have the numbers. Although Daffy persists and he puts it down towards the 50. Nick Daffy gets a kick round his body towards Edwards. Over the top and it rolls through for a goal. The Duck has done it again. Four goals to Daffy. Two in this term. And suddenly Richmond lead Roscoe by 11 points. Yes, and a couple of Sydney players off the half forward line had a chance to get hold of the footy. They just fumbled a little. And all of a sudden, the ball finishes down the other end. And Daffy, who's been a handy contributor, I think Sandy said earlier on that John Norley just mentioned he kicked four or five a game. He'd be happy, but he's four. Well, despite the injuries, the Tigers have been terrific this afternoon. Gale gets it down. Prescott smothered off the boot. It ricochets across to Campbell. He went for Broderick. Nothing doing there. Daniel surrounded. And a bounce inside the last six minutes. Still plenty of time for the Swans. But they trail by 11 points. They need the next goal. Gale goes up, thumps it down. Knights keeps it in front, headed towards the outer side wing. Still Knights. Close to the line now, gets the kick away, hugging the boundary. Back goes tight, fingertips to it, couldn't rake it in. Oh. And that should be a free kick. No doubting that whatever possessed Gray. Tate's got the free kick. The ball had harmlessly crossed the line and Gray simply slung Tate. Tate, very sharp angle. This is to the near side. But the margin is 12 points. That's the undisciplined pocket this afternoon. Miranda earlier today, and now Gray. Short one into Mooney. Left back pocket, yeah. Mooney into Miranda. It ricochets out of bounds. They can't afford that. Throw it in, says the umpire. After five minutes remaining. Two straight kicks, the difference at the moment. We'll check the score from the MCG. Play here goes on. Gale's kick was smothered. Daffy tries to storm his way through and he almost gets there. Well, he threw it, said the umpire. In his attempt to get through. So Bays will take the clearing kick from halfback. Up towards the centre wing. They desperately need something now. Paul Roos was in the thick of things there. It's been a very quiet day for him. They picked up his first kick earlier in this term. Mooney goes at it, Kelly down towards the half forward line, Duckley can't get clear to get a crack up towards full forward, push wide towards Prescott once again, also Kelly, Kelly sheer persistence, the young captain leads by example. Almost down to centre wing, Gale tries to fist it out of the air and then he applies the tackle. Chapman picks himself up. Gale, Campbell, almost taken high, although he ducked a little. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Daniels eventually.
actually has the free kick. Amazing. Disentangles himself from Campbell. Goes short. Time ticking away now for Sydney. Kapler in trouble. Hand pass goes straight to Bond, but he's caught standing still. And we'll have a bounce at the 50-metre line for Sydney, but they're desperate for a goal. They're down by 12 points. Well, if you like your footy raw, the last couple of minutes have been outstanding. Down goes Gale, in goes Campbell, slapped out of there by Daniels. Opportunity for Bond, gets the kick off down towards the wing. Now a chance for the Tigers. Loose ball at right half forward. Tate runs onto it, kicks inside the 50. Coming up the ground is Gray, knocked away by Edwards. Daffy going nowhere, dragged down by Lewis. Nice to his ground, releases Daffy with a brilliant hand pass. But he's missed. But, as they say in the classics, as good as they do. Well, a handy one. <laughs> it's four goals four to Nick Daffy. <laughs> so the Swans needing something special here. Doreen wasting no time. Goes long towards the outer side. Big leap out there by Broderick. Missed the mark. Waiting down in front. Knights clever. Gets it to Maxfield. He measures the kick. He hits the home. The Tigers have won it. his second he's lifted his rating a bit just the 13 possessions for Stuart Maxwell his last quarter's been pretty effective what a slick handball from Matthew Knight fantastic it's had to be finished off and that's the end for the Swans well they were down a point at quarter time six points at half time three points at three quarter time but now the Tigers looking pretty good they lead by 19 points with just a couple of minutes to go. Kick it, tries to get through, can't do so. Pushed up towards Bays. Gets a tap, but it goes straight to Bauer. Ricochets on to Campbell. Campbell has a look up forward. Richmond finishing full of running. Edwards, Daffy. The Duck may get another chance. He's got it 40 metres out from goal. Hooks it round his body, but there's no one home. And Gray takes the mark on the last line of defence. Kicks towards his captain. Prescott is with him. Prescott gets front spot. Kapler comes in over the top. They push it just inside the 50. He's been very good, Ashley Prescott. Yep. I mean, I regard Kelly as the toughest player pound for pound in the competition, and Prescott has matched him every inch of the way. Yes, coming into the lineup. He's done a fantastic job. Doreen close to the boundary line and eventually over. As this crowd of 23,174 will is starting to filter out. And that's prompted the PA to get going again. Give it one more burst with under two minutes remaining. Bayes. Campbell. Kepler. And Wayne Campbell slammed over the boundary line in towards the hoardings. Youngster from Bendigo, who's made such a grand impact. Tate finds the boundary line. Real gutsy win this one. I mean, yeah. losing Richardson, upsetting the team balance. Edwards stepping in, doing a great job, kicking four goals, and they've really stuck at it a couple of times. They look gone. Then losing Whitney. Yeah. Uh, midway through the final term. It's just been a battle of wills, hasn't it, the last 15 minutes or so, and they've prevailed. Again, it's over the line with Wayne Campbell. Paul Kelly's tried his heart out. As we've said, Ashley Prescott has done a wonderful job. With just over a minute remaining. Ruse and Neild. Kepler tucks it under his arm and is away. But just how safe that kick is going to be remains to be seen. Mark Miranda goes in towards full forward, a big pack of players, and it's belted over the line for another score up behind. Also having his problems, Daniel McPherson. In that sort of afternoon, you can't question the effort of players from either side. Doreen straight down the middle, and Miranda takes a very good mark. A tough 
day to start, but he's come back in the last 10 minutes or so with a couple of good touches. Now to 45 seconds. Miranda goes for distance. They'll contest about 20 metres out. Edwards goes back. It's fisted away. Down in front, Naish. Tackled by Kickett. Still it's Naish running away from his own goal. Gets around Kapla. Free kick. It's going to be a free kick to the Tigers. Something happened off the ball, did it? Well, how come it's Naish's kick? Naish had the ball all that time. I can't help you, Dennis. I was looking elsewhere, unfortunately. Sorry, Roscoe. Naish has got the ball. Perhaps I should have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I was in deep enough. I didn't need you to come in with me. That's a team game. <laughs> so Naish gets on the siren and has that. The cream. The Tigers have got the cream. Nace gets his third. And in the end, the record books will show a convincing victory for the Tigers. 26 points. 17-14 to 14-6. It was less than that. Sydney had their chances to win this game. But as we said, it came down to who wanted it most. And you had the feeling, despite their problems, despite their injuries, and the unsettled nature of their team, that the Tigers wanted it more when it counted. And a big final quarter, a seven-goal final term for the Tigers, with Richardson hobbling on crutches as we go down to the boundary. And here's Russell. Sandy, I've got Scotty Turner. Oh, that's fantastic. Give me a look at your trouble of guys. What about the feeling? Uh, yeah, oh, it's, it wasn't only me putting the pressure on. Tiger, it's, just, it's the on bowlers like the Bonnies, Macy, Campbell, Maxfield, all in. It's just great when all in blokes help out. How do you find like pushing and shoving with Tony in the goal square? Like you mentioned him really well with strength. Yeah, well, this, this year I put on a bit of beef, so Tiger's a bit still, still a bit stronger than me, but ball, the way the ball came in today. Wasn't very very good for him. But but it's it's good again, like, when you're pushing and shoving a player like Lockett, you, probably, you might have expected him to maybe to, to, to concede like four or five goals. Or to keep him to two is a very <laughs> exceptional effort. Yeah, and he kicked a couple out in the fours. So that was all right. So that would add up. No, but just to keep him to two and the boys up. Just a great win up here, especially. Well done. Good luck and now celebrate. Thanks, yes, thank you, Russell and uh, Scotty Turner. A fine achievement by him with Tony Lockett kicking just two goals in the match, one in the first term and one in the final term. But the Richmond players have gone over their faithful fans, those based in Sydney and those who've made the journey north to watch their side this afternoon, return to the winner's circle and return to the top, I believe, of the AFL ladder. The final scoreline here at the SCG, Richmond, 17-14, 116. Victorious over Sydney, 14-6, 90.